Hey, unless you got news from the Foundry team, I don't want to be disturbed. I'm a walking combat situation, assholes! I'm getting kinda bored of killing you, pricks! I just put down half your outfit back in town! You bleed like humans, but I know you're a reptile. Hold your lines. Don't let him near DW. Wait, wait, hear me out! <clears throat> no more talking! Got Mr. Weston. Let's take him out of the city, make him disappear. Meet me on the cliffs off the GOH wilderness. Hmm. Where am I? What's happening? You, you don't know what you're getting into, pal! Go meditate, you phony prick! I need someone like you in my organization. The CEO position's gonna be vacant real soon, Slick. I've got nothing against you, apart from the obvious high school of Michael caused me problems, so Michael had to go. You're looking at it rationally. There are people who are useful to you and people who ain't, and the people who ain't gotta go. Me? I'm not rational. I don't care if you're useful or not. I feel like taking you out, Devo. So that's what I'm doing. This is a serious offer. Work for me. You'll have everything you'll ever wanted. All I've ever wanted is to watch you drift in and out of consciousness as you're slowly disemboweled. Yes, yes. That's the kind of creativity I need on my team. Come on, come on. Let me out of here. Look. I got my own company, Trevor Phillips Industries. Oh, yeah, a fellow entrepreneur. Let me buy a steak to give you money to grow. I don't know if you heard, but I'm kind of gold rich right now, so you got precisely nothing to offer. Prepare for the end, my friend. You creepy bum! This is why people want to kill you. You won't shut up. Stop right now. I told them I wouldn't kill you. I didn't say anything about cutting your tongue out. Name your price. This is why the people I put in my trunk are usually dead. You're making a mistake! Pipe down! Here we are, Slick. With a few minutes for some one-on-one -on -one time.
Hey, we good, T? Never better, amigo. Good. Franklin? I'll be here. <laughs> Franklin. Hey, what's up? I assume you got him? Ooh, safe and sound. Ain't that right, buddy? <laughs> hey, my bad, homie. I pick C. Ain't that a bitch. You know, Devin, the way I see it, and hey, I'm no intelligent businessman like you, but the way I see it, there's two great evils that bedevil American capitalism of the type that you practice. Number one is outsourcing. You paid a private company to do your dirty work for you, and then you underpaid that company because you thought you were big enough and bad enough that you didn't have to play by the rules. Oh, number two, offshoring your profits. Robo. You wouldn't want to be sent offshore just to save a little money, would you, T? Oh, no, Franklin? I wouldn't. Oh, no, I ain't would going nowhere. No, see, but we know your opinions on the matter, Devin. Keep your problems the fuck out of America, huh? <laughs> In this instance, when he puts it like that, it makes sense. Of course it does. Hey, Devin, goodbye, my old friend. Thanks for all the advice. Bye-bye. So now what? Now we keep a low profile and get on with our lives. As friends. Well, do I have a choice? No, not really. All right, then. As, uh, flawed, awful, totally uncomfortable, and poorly matched friends. Absolutely. Oh, that's perfect. Then we can get back to the kind of capitalism we practice. Shit, I don't know how much more better that is than Devin's con. Ooh, hypocrisy, Franklin. Civilization's greatest virtue. Jesus, your therapist has a lot to answer for. I know, I still hate myself. But hey, at least I know the words for it now. Yeah, but I hate you, and I know the words for it. So does that mean I don't have to go to therapy? Look, man, you two motherfuckers terrify me of that middle age. I'm good. You're right to be afraid, Franklin. Yeah. Be very afraid, Franklin. I'll tell you one thing, T. I'm getting too old for this nonsense. So, you've done well for yourself. What? what? What are you doing here? Is that how you greet your mother, Trevor? I, 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 I didn't know they let you out. So you never wrote to me? You never visited? Well, well I... I bet you never found a girl. Tell me, Trevor, are you gay? No. Is that what this is all about? No. I wouldn't care. In fact, 
I've always wanted a gay son. A son who wouldn't forget about his mother. But Ma! But Ma, but Ma, but Ma, nothing. Not a peep. I carried you in here. I fed you. I weaned you. Now look at you. You always were an ungrateful, wretched, sniveling sack of shit. And I know it. There was always something wrong with you. Ashamed of yourself. Ashamed of me. Of your own mother. I've been here for hours. And have you gotten me a drink? Or a cigarette? Or massage my feet? I'm an old woman. And you, in the prime of life, have you nothing inside? I'm so sorry. I, uh, uh, <laughs> there, there, it's okay, son. <laughs> oh, that's enough. <laughs> Here I am, old and tired and alone. I'm so sorry for everything. Exactly. For everything. I'm an old woman, Trevor. I don't got no insurance. Oh, I got money! I don't want your goddamn money! Is that what you think I am? A prostitute? Still? You're sick. What can I do? I'm in a lot of pain. I need you to get me some more Deludamol. I can do that. A lot of them. A truckload, literally. And not those weedy little ones. The thousand milligram ones. And if you find me a gentleman, well, we both know bigger. You like seeing your mother in pain, do you? You selfish little boy. Can't you do anything right? No wonder your father walked out on us. Franklin, my man! Listen, my buddy's got his boat out. I can drop you over it if you've got the balls. This is bad. All right, there's my buddy's boat. He's expecting you. But tell him he's an ass chase from Jeff! Hey, boo, what's happening? Uh, hi, Franklin. I'm calling to tell you I'm getting married. Shit, I knew that. I mean, like, tomorrow. Oh, uh, shit, okay. You know, you will find someone, Franklin. But before that, you gotta grow up. I mean, seriously. You didn't want to hang out with Lamar because he was too crazy. But, well, do you really think you moved on from craziness? Look, thanks for the lecture, all right? But listen, I'm happy for you, honestly. I am, man. I mean, I'll see you around, all right? Take care of yourself. I have to charge you, right? 